Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Disappointed Dragon. So, I've done it again. I've got a few more blind bags to open. Uh, this time we've got the Ugly Dolls blind bags for another video. Um, so, the first thing I'll point out is, unlike last time, these have a warning on them. There's a choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three. Unlike our good friends from the last video, the WOW toys, which will never choke a child one year up. I'm pretty sure they could choke on it. Not the point. The point is we've got these now. Um, so these were actually the same price as the little wow guys there. They were $1.50 per blind bag. And it says that they have one figure. Actually, I have no idea what they look like because there is no real representation. Um, I know these came off of a movie that came out 2019, 2020. Uh, it was an animated movie. Didn't hear much about it. Never saw it, um, which is odd because I usually see all animated movies. Uh, and I did kind of want to see it because I just like kids' movies. They're usually quite jolly and you leave feeling good, but I just never did. I did see it at Walmart afterwards for like 15 to $20, and I just couldn't be bothered to spend that much to watch it. Who knows, one time on one of the multiple streaming services that I subscribe to, I'll give it a watch at some point. But for now, I know nothing about it. I just remember that I think to them, the ugly dolls, they were the norm and then I think some children showed up and they were weird because they were not ugly I really can't remember uh, but it was made by Hasbro so I'm expecting good things um it's very light and it feels like there's not much in there so I'm not s expecting something large it's probably a static figure uh, the, the picture has texture so maybe they've got flocking or something on them who knows one figure Series 1, I don't think there's going to be a Series 2, considering I bought these at the dollar store. One toy. Product and contents may vary. Retain this information for future use. I will not do that. Alright, it actually comes with, a, if you can see that, a nice perforation for easy opening, so we won't need our knife this time. Maybe. So I'm going to try to open this. So I just tear it over here. No, okay. Well... Oh, you pull back and... Oh, so easy. All right, um, let's get the blue one because he looks really, like, suave in this picture, I'd say. Or that one-eyed bloke. I like him, too. Let's see. We've got a little paper thingy here. Okay, here we go. Ugly dolls. Lots of ugly. All right. Uh, well, I quite like that guy, too, with his... Uh, three glass spectacles there let's see this is series one okay so who can we get can get a weird bunny uh the one-eyed dog thing guy with a hand on his head little chubby bat three-eyed spectacled bloke one-eyed dude uh sally <laughs> weird tumor head i rather like that one he looks kind of like some of those old-fashioned monsters under the bed in a child story oh now, I like that guy. Okay, he looks hungry. Uh, another weird rabbit thing and an octopus. And they definitely look like they're shiny and not flocked, which is actually unfortunate. 12 to collect. Um, I don't know what these are, but it looks like it's something that comes with it. 12 to collect and 12 to collect. Uglydolls at Hasbro.com. Definitely won't be going there. All right, let's see. Oh, well, it's much larger than I thought. And, ooh. We got the octopus guy. All right, that's actually kind of cool. It's not too bad. Like, I mean, it's it's a little, little rubbery plastic figure, and it doesn't have much paint on it, but what it does have is all right. Like, it's it's a really basic thing. It actually kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what were they called? Oh, I used to get them. There was, like, little fighting plastic toys that you would get in, like, blind bags, and they'd come with cards, and you'd roll them onto the table, and they'd, like, land next to each other and fight each other. In the 80s, they were called, like, <sighs> mutant maulers or something, and they had a version of them in the 90s. I can't remember what they're called. Anyways, yeah, that's all right. I like that. That's kind of cool. It's a nice little desk thing. Let's go ahead and open the next one. Same thing again. This one's... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh! We didn't open up the... Ah. Wait a moment here. We have more things. 
Oh, it comes with a little, like, book thing. Oh, look at that. It's a little, like, comic book. He's going shopping. He's looking for his ingredients. What? <laughs> Wait. He's looking for his ingredients. And suddenly, he's stuck inside of the cart. <laughs> it's like a little book thing. I'm very confused by the story, but that's really cool. I like that. All right. And what else have we got here? So like this little bag here. It's given away which one we've gotten and the next one, obviously it's the dog thing, which is cool because I did want that one. Let's see. What is this? Ugh. It's wrapped up like a little envelope. Oh, okay, so it's just um, a little sticker, like the little food sticker. So I guess there's 12 different stickers, and I don't, I'm not really sure. Like, is this supposed to be, like, a little gift envelope, I guess? I don't know. I, maybe it's relevant to the movie, and I'm just completely oblivious to it, but there, you can hold that. And it seems that we've got the dog one. So let's take a look at his story. Playing fetch with the one-eyed guy. Oh, and yeah, go get the ball. Doesn't want the ball, wants ice cream. Sees ice cream. Cries a little bit. Gets ice cream. Oh, he gave him one of the ice creams. Okay. He's eating ice cream. Finds the ball with a radar detector. Comes back. He's sleeping. Throws the ball and tells him to get it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're silly little stories, but I'm not, like... I'm not opposed... It's a nice little thing to get in there. And you know what? For $1.50, I'm not too unhappy with this. I'm actually much more pleased with this than I am with those uh, WoW guys from last time. But I think it's just because I like little weird monster things. Like, this would look really nice on my computer desk, sitting on top of my computer. I love stuff like that. Set them up on my desk, giving me something to look at and fiddle with when I'm waiting for things to load. Oh, there we go. It's a cup of tea in this one. Cup of tea. In a little envelope. And let's see what the dog looks like, actually. Uh, the face paint is okay. The paint on the collar and the little medallion isn't the best, but it's still a nice little thing, especially at this size. Like, again, I'd be okay with having those on my desk. They're both quite neat. I'm actually really happy with these. <laughs> I was expecting them to be quite... Silly, it's a, my giant hand. So I open the last one. Alright. Oh no, duplicates. Oh, unfortunate. Got the uh, dog again. Cat, maybe? No, it's definitely a dog. Does it have the same... Mm, yes, it does. Oh well. Oh well, guess we are going to have to him out for comparison let's see this one has slightly better paint on it than the other one but they're both pretty similar since they're the same one but now he can have flanking cat dogs i mean I, you always hate to get duplicates <laughs> not as bad as when i caught the two bruce waynes but you know what? Like, I, I actually quite like these little things. For $1.50, I'm actually pretty pleased. I mean, the next time we go to the dollar store, if they have more, maybe I'll pick up some more and try to get them all, because I'd love to put these up on a shelf somewhere. Like, they're just the nifty things. I think my favorite is the octopus. Because he, he reminds me a little bit of Wobbuffet. Oh, it's a cute little thing. Yeah, I really like these. This is kind of why I like to open blind bags, because I love it when you're pleasantly surprised with what you've picked up for so cheap, and you get something that's really neat and I just like tchotchkes. So I think that, yeah, these will sit on my computer desk. I'll put them next to the Thomas the Tank Engine that I got from a much, much older video. But uh, that'll do it for this video. Um, until the next one, I've actually got quite a pile of... You can't see it, but it's just on the other side of these boxes here of blind bags I've picked up to make some more videos just so I can uh, keep up with the release schedule. <laughs> 
Uh, so until next time, stay safe, stay happy, and remember, don't spend your money on blind bags because I will definitely do that for you. All right, goodbye.